Well, it was a, a fun weekend down in Florida. Um, we got a lot of work in. We learned a lot. Um, we played some really good competition, and I think the toughest part of the weekend was coming back home and seeing all the snow that we got. It was pretty depressing last night to see all the the cars sitting in the parking lot with with all the snow on it. But um, we did we did get a lot of work done in Florida, and it was fun. We got out there a day early, got a game uh, a day to practice in. Um, and then um, kicked off the tournament at Jacksonville and uh, played two really tough games in the, on the first day. Um, we got beat by College of Charleston uh, on the first day. Um, good team, very good team. They pitched it well that day. Um, we didn't come out with very hot bats, uh, got shut out. Um, and really we're, we were about one – maybe one inning away from that thing being 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, we gave them a couple of extra outs uh, in an inning, and um, they took advantage of it. And then they just kept the pressure on us uh, from a pitching standpoint. And we, we, we had opportunities to, to put ourselves on the board and get back in the game, but we just didn't get a clutch hit. And so, um, But our team has been doing a great job of responding. I think that was the, the thing we saw day one. They responded, came back, and, and took it to uh, Jacksonville. Um, Scored a lot of runs, scored early, um, got good pitching. And so it was a good good response to that first game. And then um, the second day, we faced off against uh, College of Charleston again, and we were able to um, to do what I've been waiting to, to see this team do, and that was come back. Um, we, gave up, uh, we gave up a sixth spot in the first two innings, three in the first, three in the second. And we were able to scrap and claw and play a full seven innings and finally come back and and take the lead in the sixth and and hold them scoreless in the seventh and and come out with a one run victory and I think that was the one thing I wanted to see was like we've had some different things that have happened to us where the momentum has kind of what I say been stole away from us um, where you know we just didn't fight for it enough and and let the other team take advantage of it and um, to see us be on the other end of that and never quit. I think that was a good sign early in the season to see us be able to, to come back. And I think that'll help our confidence as well because you're never going to get out in front in every single game. You're going to have to play from behind at some point. And so now they know they can do that against a good team as well. So I think that was a, a great experience for us. Um, and then in the game two, um, we dropped a close one to uh, North Florida, another really good team. Um, and they they jumped on us early uh, again, and and we we fought back and fought back, and we got got ourselves in a position uh, to to take a lead late. Uh, we weren't able to do it, um, but once again, I think the responded factor that this team has has shown so far this year, we've got to get out of this habit of win one, lose one, win one, lose one. But as far as uh, just kind of having a short term memory and going about our business and doing what we need to do the next inning or the next game, um, they've done a fantastic job of it. And uh, we responded with a, a big win on um, Sunday against that North Florida team again. And we put up seven runs and, and shut them out. So we finally got what I would say uh, that full game, the complete game, uh, both defensively, uh, offensively. Um, Brooke Craig had a great, great pitching performance for us. Did a nice job all game long against a really good hitting team, and they proved that all weekend long against every team that they've played that that they were one of the better hitting teams down there. And so, for her to finally get uh, get one of those good outings under her belt, I think that'll help uh, from a confidence standpoint too. So, um, a lot of good things, a lot of things we still need to work on, which is which is great going into these two weeks off, um, where we need to get get back to work and get after the fundamentals and and there's you know I think some small things that we need to work on but I think it'll they'll pay huge dividends for us later if we can get them figured out um, pitchers need to be able to um, change speeds a lot more I think that'll be the focus for the next two weeks hitters need to swing with more intent there's just sometimes we don't take a full swing and we don't give ourselves the best chance to drive a ball and hit an extra get an extra base hit so that'll be the focus offensively and then defensively I think I really like where we're at, both in the infield and the outfield. Uh, we're doing a great job of, of getting good reads on the balls and making plays. Um, we just need to continue to stress the fact of taking care of the softball, that extra outs and, and um, extra 60 feet here and there is going to cost us, and we need to make sure that we uh, we continue to, to push that and, and, and keep getting better from a defensive standpoint. So any questions?
couple weeks off. Yep. Just how do you feel about that? What the thought process behind that was um, traditionally in the last, well, 11 years, we've um, – We've taken a long bus trip uh, because we only fly, we try to fly one time a year. Um, we've taken a long bus trip. And what I mean by long is is Alabama, Ole Miss, things like that, where we're 14, 15 hours in a bus. And it just seems like the third weekend um, isn't the, the, the right weekend to do that because we've just played horribly. And it, and it hasn't helped us both from a, a – a mental standpoint, a physical standpoint. Um, so this year we're trying something a little bit different, take the weekend off and rest up and see what happens. Um, because we, we obviously are going to get in a bus and we're going to drive 10 hours to Stillwater in two weeks, which is still a long trip. But we're going to go up against some really tough competition. And for us to go in there with a, a beat-up mindset and uh, – you know, spending 30 hours in a bus the week before just really, I don't think, um, was going to put us in a good spot. So we're going to try something new, and we, we always talk about making adjustments. This is one of those things for us as coaches is to try to put our kids in a little bit better spot. Um, we've got some little nicks and injuries, and hopefully we can get those things taken care of in the next couple weeks, but as well as build off of the, the successes that we've had in the last two weekends. And, and, and then I think the last piece is that, you know, they're – they're going to be excited to play. The last thing I said to them yesterday was, this is the last time you're going to play for two weeks. So, you know, they were excited to get that game in and play. And so I, I think about the excitement that we, we could have here in the next next two weeks, um, being able to, to put that uniform back on and go compete and knowing where we're going to go compete at and, and who we're going to play. I think uh, hopefully that will put us in a good spot.